Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing. Before starting this video, I want to wish you all a very happy Durga Puja and happy Navratri. So today is the third day of Navratri, as you know, and we call it Subha Tritiya. And I hope the next uh, few days of this uh, festive season will bring a lot of happiness and positivity in your life. Now coming back to this video, as you already know from the thumbnail, that this video is about gate preparation. And in this video, we'll talk about that what are the resources that you may follow for practicing question that is relevant for your gate preparation. So you all who are preparing for gate, who are gate aspirants, you know, um, alongside of you know reading the subjects and going through the topics, you have to practice a lot to you know build your expertise and build your skill set. And pra practicing question actually you know increase your efficiency, increase your uh, precision of solving the question within given limited time. So that's is very important that you solve as much as possible questions from different resources. Now students or aspirants sometimes have this question that what resource they should follow for practicing question. So in this video, I'll discuss about all the resources that is available for you to practice questions so that you know you can build your skill and you can build your efficiency in solving questions. That will be the topic of this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned the video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further delay, let's start into today's video. First resource that you must follow to practice uh, different questions from different topics of your gate syllabus is the previous year question paper. So previous year question paper or in short POIQs are the only available standard sets of question paper which is set by IIT professor. So that's why it's very important that you solve the previous year question paper in detail uh, and if possible not only one time so you, know, you try to solve previous question paper as many times as possible so that you know you you have a rough idea about that what is the pattern of question that is frequently asked in the in, in the gates gate examination uh, from which topics the questions are more frequent to come than the others so it may happen in the subject there are many topics but you know if you if you solve the previous question paper you'll understand that from few topics the question is to come a lot than the other topics. So this kind of understanding will have once you start solving the previous year question paper. And there are two ways you can solve the previous question paper. You can take the question paper as it is and solve it, but you know that is not recommended because to solve the whole question paper, you need to uh, go through all the subjects. But you know that is time consuming. So that's why it's recommended that whenever you are uh, studying a particular topic from a particular subject, then try to solve the previous year question paper regarding that. And there are many books nowadays that is available where, you know, this subject wise or topic wise previous year question paper is available. One such popular book is by Made Easy. You can follow that. That is quite popular. So, yeah, this is how you have to solve the previous year question paper for uh, practicing the question from different subjects and different topics. Now, here a student is to ask me a lot, ask me a question that, you know, since which year they should solve the question? Because since 1990, the question papers are available. So should this fall from 1990 till 2024 uh, for, for, the, for the practice? I recommend that try to solve previous questions since 2008 because before 2008, there are the different patterns of question that IIT is to set. But since 2008, they have changed the pattern and this whole concept of MCQs has come up uh, since 2008. So try to solve all the questions that, that is there in previous year question paper since 2008 till uh, 2014. So these around 15 years of question paper you need to uh, you need to practice and that will be sufficient for your gate paper. Now I want to add two more things here. For aptitude as you know aptitude is common for all the disciplines like for all the engineering discipline aptitude is there for 15 marks. So try to solve all the questions from across different disciplines for this next uh, for this last 15 years. So that will be a lot of questions. So you don't, do, don't need to go for any other books for aptitude preparation. If you solve all the aptitude question that has come up since 2008 till 2024 in all the discipline that will be sufficient. And for mathematics, you know, there also you may, you may find that for other disciplines, few topics are there, which is there in your uh, in your gate, gate mathematics syllabus. For example, for computer science, linear algebra and probability is there in gate uh, mathematics syllabus. That is also common in mechanical, electronics, electrical, uh, their engineering math syllabus, probability and linear algebra there. So try to find uh, those topics which is there in other discipline as well and try to solve the previous question paper from there as well. The next resource that you can follow for practicing uh, questions is the standard books that is available in the market. 
and you can you can refer to their examples and the exercise at the end of each chapter so for each subject for any discipline there are some popular standard books that is available and in that subjects after after every chapter or or every topic there are some example set of questions that is there which answer is given immediately there and there is a long exercise that is available so if you are if you are not comfortable you know solving the pvsl question paper for a particular topic for example then you can refer to these questions that is there at the end of that particular chapter in the standard notebook so once you start solving those questions and for exercise you know even the solution also is available in internet so for each standard notebook the, the solution of the exercise questions are available in the in the online you can even search in google and you can get the pdf and once you solve those questions it actually increases your confidence because you know the questions that is there in standard notebooks they are also very much standard you know they are error free because these books are very popular their authors are you know world renowned so those questions you can rely that those are really great question and 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 sometimes you, you may find that similar kind of questions also being asked in uh, in gate examination so those questions are really a great resource to follow so if you are not getting confidence for a particular subject for example you are not able to solve the pvs question paper then you can try this out that you can solve the exercises and examples and and you can you can increase your uh, skill for a particular for the particular topic i'm not saying that you have to solve all the subjects from from the standard notebooks i'd rather recommend that if you are not confident on a subject then refer to the standard note uh, standard books exercise and example because you have very limited time available for and the standard resource from here you can practice your question paper and often people don't talk about it is the course web page of different iits for example in computer science you are not comfortable with computer architecture you are not able to solve the previous year question paper you have tried different standard books there you know their question paper also you have tried but you are still not able to solve the question with that efficiency with that precision then what next what next set of standard question paper you can try out in that case you can try out different courses regarding computer architecture which is offered in different iits so all these top iits like iit madras iit kharagpur iit delhi iit bombay even isc bangalore they offered courses on computer architecture and specifically in iits for btech there is a well structured course that is maintained on computer architecture so you can visit to their course web page and you can see what are the question that is being asked in different quizzes different uh, you know midterm exam or interim exam so those questions are available most of the time they are available in the course web page you can solve those questions and many a times even solution is also available in the course web page so you can see the solution so by this way you will additionally have 10 to 15 question paper because these courses are offered every year like this year question paper is also available last year question paper is also available so these questions is additional sets of uh, standard questions which you can refer to and another advantage is that these questions because they are they are being set by iit professors if you solve these questions there is a huge chance the similar pattern of questions may be asked in the gate exam as well so that's why for every topic try to see what are the course web pages are there for from different iits and try to see what are the questions being asked in different exams for that particular course and try to solve it and i am again saying that this is this you only do if you are not comfortable with a particular topic don't try to do it for all the topics because you don't have that time if you are confident about a topic you are, if you are able to solve all the previous question paper you don't need to go for it only if pyq is sufficient but if you are not comfortable with a particular topic or particular subject then only you go for standard books their exercises or go to the I, uh, respective iit course page and see the course sets and try to solve the fourth and final resource that you can follow for practicing uh, different questions for your gate preparation is the material that you have received from the coaching institution that you have taken for your gate preparation so if you have taken a coaching for your gate preparation for gate 2025 those coaching will give you some set of practice book and some set of question banks and in those question bank you will find there are a lot of questions that are available you know topic wise subject wise and then full length test also there are many many question paper that is available additionally there will be some mock test also like topic wise mock test then subject wise and then full length mock test so overall there will be a lot of questions that will be available both in 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 the form of question banks and in the form of mock test so you can try to solve those questions and try to see i know how well you are able to solve the question and you can check your efficiency for different subjects and different topic now here there is a problem that these questions that is set by these different coaching institution they are often not error free 
and many a times you know there are a lot of confusion about the solution uh, so maybe one question you have solved and you, your answer is not matching with the solution that is given in the in the in the solution uh, solution question paper so that time it's not guarantee that you have solved the question uh, you, you didn't solve the question it might happen the solution is incorrect so that's why i'm telling you that whenever there is a confusion you know try to discuss among the friends try to solve in different forums like different telegram channel that is there that you are part of try to verify with others whether the solution is correct or not if there is a confusion if you are sure that solution is good then just leave it but 30 to 40 percent time these questions which is said by coaching institution there is a error so that's why you know you shouldn't blindly follow them blindly i uh, believe their solution you know there if there is a confusion try to cross verify with your uh, other students that they are also preparing for for gate and this is how you have to practice uh, the question that is that is given by different coaching institutions so yeah that's it about this video i hope i have given you a rough idea about what are the resources that you may follow for practicing questions for different topics in different subject for your gate preparation and if you have any other question regarding this topic please let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer them and try to share this video among other aspirants and if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and there will be more videos coming up in this channel regarding gate 2025 preparation so please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then